Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In this video, we are going to create another pavilion using a different method. Uh, first, I want to check the units under Options, Units. I want to go with meters. Okay, uh, so it shows meters here. That's good. I want to draw maybe one arc here. Uh, this should be good. I want to extrude this arc to have a surface maybe by 15 meters. I can change this to shaded and this seems good. I don't need this curve anymore. Uh, now I want to go to Grasshopper. Uh, so this time, instead of creating a pattern on a 2D surface and projecting that onto this surface, I'm going to actually use uh, the exact surface of the pavilion to uh, create a pattern. I'm going to type surface and I want to select this surface. Seems good. Uh, I can hide this and I want to internalize the data. Now I want to divide this surface so I have a set of points surface goes to surface, U and V refer to the values on the kind of X and Y direction. So I want to go with like 15. By default, both U and V are set to 10. Let's see what happens if I change the U to 15. This seems a little bit better. I'm going to go with this one. Now let's create some circles on the surface uh, of this pavilion. I want to type circle, it's going to be circle CNR, which means it's going to need center, normal, and radius. So let's see what's going on in this node first. If I connect point to point, uh, you see that this is only 10, but we actually have 10 times 15, and now you see that this is like a list within a list, so I need to flatten this. And now we have 175. That means actually it goes from uh, 10 by 15. That means uh, the real number of the points is 11 by 16, uh, which is 176, which is what we have here. I can connect this normal to the panel and the same thing happened here. So I want to flatten the normals too. The normal of the surface is the vector which is perpendicular to that surface, right? So when you want to draw a circle, it asks you for the center. The center is the same points that we have here, so the points can go to center. Now we have a number of circles, but I want them to be aligned with the surface uh, of the pavilion, so the normal can go to normal, and as soon as you do that, the pattern is going to be different now. You can assign different values to the radius, and it's going to work differently. What I'm interested to do, try here, is to see how the random numbers work for the radius of the circles. So I want to type random. I'll go with this one, uh, and you see that I'm going to need uh, a range, a number, and kind of a seed, right? So if I connect this to my radius, if I bring a panel, you see that there is only one number inside the panel. That's why uh, you see that all of them change to one number, right? But uh, do you see how many points we had? We had actually 176. Uh, I need to type 176, assign this to my number. And if I assign this to here, you see now the number of the radius values that we have is the same as the number of points, so this works correctly, right? So this could be a pattern. You can work with different values uh, and the distance and the radiuses. I want to make a group here. This group is responsible for my points, so it's going to give me points on surface. I want to make a group out of these two. A scribble. This is going to give me the random numbers. 
right and that's gonna give me the circles now let's see what if I want to use kind of a polygon instead of a circle so I want to delete this circle I want to type polygon I'll go with this one uh, if you want to create a polygon you see that we're gonna need the plane uh, which is the polygon base plane right um, and in this case I want to connect actually the points to the plane because each of the points is kind of uh, representing a plane so that goes there as soon as you do that you see some polygons are already created uh, it's gonna ask you about the radius um, we can assign like the same uh, random numbers to the radius so now you see kind of the radius is different each time so the random item is working correctly uh, last thing we need to do to make it work correctly is to change the normal of these polygons by default the normal of the polygons is actually uh, like the z vector so I want to bring a normal plane normal and I want to assign these points to the origin here it's gonna create some normals based on those points I want to turn the preview off here that goes to my plane I also need to assign the normal vector to the Z icon here so that means we are changing the Z from a perpendicular Z to a Z which is the same as the normal of uh, each point right so now the normal is working correctly uh, that means the objects are uh, exactly on the surface uh, we can work with different values for the segment for instance if you want to have like uh, rectangles we can go with four we can assign like number four to the segments we can go with three and you see the pattern updates uh, I wanna turn the preview off here now let's say um, maybe I want the polygons to be rotated each time so uh, it's gonna be a more complicated pattern right so I wanna go with rotate my polygon goes to geometry so P goes to G you see that all of them are rotated now uh, over one single point but if we want each of them to be rotated around its own center point that P for the plane that we had needs to be connected to plane that we have here so that goes there now you see they are all kind of rotating around their own center points I can turn the view off here right and if I want to randomize the amount of rotation which is for now set to half a pi uh, which means it's 90 degrees I need to actually uh, come up with some other numbers I want to use the same randomized node that we had uh, but before assigning this to that value I want to actually multiply the numbers by pi so it's gonna be more like their degrees right so R goes to B B is multiplied by pi and then that goes to my rotation you can go with this pattern or actually you can go with like uh, rectangles I want to go with rectangles and uh, actually I don't want to uh, rotate them randomly I want to rotate them by 25% uh, of a pi which means it's gonna be 45 degrees so I want to type 0.25 here that goes to B and this goes to rotation so now you see that they are actually rotated by uh, 45 degrees so this seems good to me uh, I can make some groups here this set of nodes can be grouped I want to use a scribble this is actually my polygons on surface And uh, these four nodes here can be grouped. I want to bring one a scribble. And these are basically my rotated polygons. 
So when you are ready, make sure to save your file. And next, I want to actually split these items from the surface, right? So it's kind of like what we did in the previous videos. I want to go with split. It's going to be a split surface. The surface that we want to split is the same surface that we had at the beginning. We already have it here. So I want to connect uh, this node to my surface over there. Uh, the curves that we want to use to cut the surface comes from here. I'm going to double check to see if this needs to be flattened. This seems good. I can assign this to my C uh, and I want to actually turn the preview off here. This seems all good. Uh, I want to save this file and then I want to bake this so it's going to be imported into Rhino. I can close Grasshopper uh, and now you see that uh, we have the surface here and each of these elements are separate surface. I can create a different layer, a new layer here, change the color maybe. I can get the main surface and move it to my layer 1. Uh, I want to turn everything on to make sure that we don't have two surfaces. Actually, we do. Uh, I need to delete this surface that we had originally created in Rhino, and this is our pattern. 